So Anthony, first of all, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank Welcome you. Then. So tell us a little bit about your uh, current research. My laboratory at the University of North Texas System College of Pharmacy in collaboration with uh, Dr. Kenneth Belkis, the junior's la laboratory at the University of Texas at Dallas, have uh, constructed what we call a radiotherapeutic bandage. What this is, is a nanofiber construct that has homium nanoparticles distributed homogeneously throughout. So we can prepare this material while everything is non-radioactive, making it very amenable for production um, in a large scale. And then via a process called neutron activation, we make it radioactive and we can obtain the exact dose needed for a patient. And on top of that, the bandage can be easily manipulated to cut um, the perfect size for the size of the tumor lesion, squamous cell carcinoma um, type skin lesion without affecting normal tissues. And it can be put in many different positions um, on the body. So, so why is this a, a breakthrough? So typically uh, we see folks undergoing Mohs surgery and we're, we're looking at a strategy here that could complement that or possibly replace because patients that cannot undergo um, the surgery do undergo external beam radiation therapy or a bracket therapy. But with external beam radiation therapy, there are cumbersome uh, equipment and specialized facilities and um, technicians working to uh, treat a cancer a lesion, um, but the safety margin around the, the tumor lesion is large, so normal tissues can be affected negatively. And as far as brachiotherapy, the, pa um, the uh, technicians uh, treating the lesion are exposed to uh, radiation. So our therapy is essentially, we, pr we produce it, it is neutron activated, it is, uh, cut prior to neutron activation while it's non-radioactive, brought to the patient, a radiologist would apply it, and then just put a, a lead wrap around it, and they could just sit in a normal room. And because it is, uh, it's great efficacy, which we've actually seen, and that's what I'm bringing new to the conference here is the animal data. And the animal data shows us that these uh, um, radioactive bandages, clinically relevant concentrations for one hour, can eliminate a tumor or at least um, have a significantly smaller tumor than controls, and controls being a non-radioactive bandage or uh, no treatment. So we have a way to treat cancer um, without uh, that large of a safety margin. Um, it's easy to use. It can be used uh, in uh, possibly some outpatient procedure we, we envision. So, so Anthony, what, uh, I mean, it's exciting news with the, the trials that you've uh, researched and the data that you've uh, just described. What, what are the implications now? How are we going to see this? Uh, how are we going to, what are the implications now for pharmaceutical science with your work? So we now have a bandage that can be used to treat squamous cell carcinoma um, skin cancer lesions. It is an elegant solution. Um, they're easy to make and they can contain exactly the right dose and be um, positioned wherever and in the exact size of tumor lesion. So the safety margins are better than external beam radiation therapy. Um, and this could be uh, an alternative to surgery altogether. Marvellous. Well, thanks so much indeed for sharing that with us today and, and best of luck with that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.